welcome back thank you so much for joining me i am just digging through my summertime rolls scraptastic kit and it's a lot of fun there's a lot of goodies in here i did not get the add-on i just got that and i always get a couple of the scraptastic exclusive stamp sets and this is from their life noted one phenomenal just love it love 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 it and this is their summertime rolls stamp set so another fantastic one kind of excited to use those swirls and stuff like that just awesome 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 so i'm gonna set those in my little stamp bin and i'm really enjoying scraptastic stamps this uh October afternoon, uh, ocean, the ocean, the ocean blue. I can't even say it. Label stickers. I pulled those out. I pulled out the campfire stickers or thickers. I pulled out their flare badges, but now I watched, um, Rory save her little baggies and do something really nice. And so I'm trying to be really well behaved here because I never open my packages like that. Yay! And I like the fun. I do. I like that there's numbers on the paper that I'm going to use. Flare badges go in there. I took I pulled out their exclusive cut apart sheet and their cut little I don't know what you call these little cut file sheets tabs you know what they are you know what they are all right too much messy desk too much messy desk crazy I like this fun as well I'm not sure I would use the ice creams I like both of those They're very nice and they go so well and this is like last month's kit goes so well with this month's kit all right these photos are one and a half by five and a half so one and a half by five and a half and I'm not sure if I printed these at the same as well yeah, one and a half by five and a half. And then I did a sequence thing like I did before, how I'd shown you. And this is like the end result of the splashing, but I don't know how I'm going to use them. And last time I kept these stuck together with my son's sequence. But for her, for Gabriella, I believe I'm going to cut them completely apart and kind of work with them individually. Or at least that's what I want to do. I'm just trimming off more of that excess white tip to get me to have a cleaner look on my page. And so there were so many ideas that I wanted to do with these thin type strip photos. And I never know. I wanted to do a border type, you know, just with um, some manufacturing strip type leftovers or even just cutting up pattern papers in a manufacturing strip type, you know, and creating a ruffle effect on the page. And I still stop and I still think, you know, maybe I should do that because I keep thinking of it like that. But I'm just going to play with you guys right now and see where it takes me live <laughs> I have to say that I know it's silly but I have to so this is a scraptastic kit club exclusive paper designed by Caitlin Schaefer and it's called plaid and it's awesome very thick good quality I really 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 like it and I really like the numbers on the side I felt that that's kind of the reason why I had picked this paper to begin with 
was that I really liked the numbers, you know, doing the sequence type thing. And I know you all get that. And then when I was opening or going through my, um, so it goes like that, right? Should it go like this? I was thinking that I could use these as my headers, right? Into my sequence of shots here. But that's not going to work with this middle one because I don't want it to be all on the same side. Does that work out? Right? We're still here, right? We're all here? Show of hands, show of hands. Okay. So, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I've got. I'm kind of like the Grinch, you know, in the movie where they're feeding him chocolate. And he's like, is that all you got? Yep, that's all I got for you. I don't know what else to do. I kind of like it. It's clean looking, eh? Look at me. Look at me. What should I do now? How do I leave this clean? And don't make it cluttered. You know? So that it looks like that perfect layout. I can never do anything clean and neat. I'm going to I'm going to attack it with something and, and ruin it, aren't I? I really like that pinked circle. I do, I do, I do. Okay. So, yeah, this is, this is hard. I'm trying to behave. Do we want a border strip on this side? Do we want to leave it clean? Okay. All right, so I'm going to say that I for sure know, so this is how I'm going to do it. I for sure know that I love these tags. And so I'm going to do my best to glue them down. And I'm having one of those days where everything I touch falls to the ground. So we're not going to fight that energy. We're not going to get angry. No, we're just going to go with it. It's okay. Things happen. All right. So the splash goes there because that's so cool. And then the sunshine over here kind of nice that they did these in cardstock this time. I wouldn't have been able to use a white background like I am right now if it had been white on white. So that's kind of nice. I like that. I would use my ATG, but my ATG is too thick and I don't want to be fighting or wrestling with the glue. So we're going to use the Tombow. I almost dropped and threw my Tombow, but I caught it in midair like a super athlete would. <laughs> I don't, you, you know what? It's contagious. At work, when I have the dropsies, I always warn people. I'm like, look, I've already dropped something like three times over there. So yeah, you need to go wash your hands and sanitize because it's contagious, whatever this is. And then I'll just drop things for the rest of the day. Yeah, and I know you're laughing because you do the same thing too. I know, yeah. It is contagious. Okay, so now, again, process of elimination. I did like this remember from last time, and I think it's got the right 
tone for this page or this layout that I'm working on. Do I want to keep it straight? Keep it more linear? I think so. I think I think you guys are going to see a clean layout by Monica. Yes, you are. I know. It's amazing. Spread the word. I'm going to try. <laughs> because, you know, the embellishing part comes at the end. That's when the party starts, at the end. In the beginning, people just kind of move around the room. Like they pretend they don't want to get up and dance, right? Oh, no, 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 no. And I just got glue on the photo. All right, we're just gonna let that go as well. Glue on the photo. I'm dropping things. Yeah, one of those days. I was thinking of taking up yoga. Do any of you out there do yoga? Although I have stage fright and I really want to go out and do yoga somewhere. I have tried to do yoga in my living room, but I'm going to say that it doesn't work because my family is around me and that's, you know, in no way, shape or form a really bad thing. And I'm sorry for my dog barking in the background. Um, but it's, I've learned that there's only so much home exercise that you can do comfortably and then there's a time where there's a reason why um, you know exercise studios were invented and you know a gym is an important place because you know not everything can be done in the comfort of your own home and especially yoga and pardon me as I try to degum this photo um, because you need to be focused and you have to be zen like and you have to really listen to what the lady's saying and I can't listen and focus as you can see I'm all over the place all the time and it's partially because it's my job too like my job I have to multitask quite a bit I have to answer phones and answer customers and so put down two of those um, October afternoon stickers and I was trying to comp contemplate on how I'm going to glue down this acrylic piece and I was going to try with my hot glue but I don't think that would have worked so Yeah, I'm a bit shaky. I've got a bit a bit of anxiety, I think. A little bit stressed out. I'm usually not like that. Usually pretty good. But I too am human. So I'm gonna try and there we go. Try and enjoy my vacation as much as I can and try to get some rest and not worry about too many things. Okay, so I really like that flare badge better than the other one. And so what I'm learning when I watch YouTube videos, because that's what we do, we watch and we learn from each other, and it's so amazing, um, is that everybody's kind of going for the tone on tone thing, right? It's really, really 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 very nice it's eye pleasing it looks good I'm just gonna use my photo trimmer on these tags really cute really cute tags and the paper is so thick on these tags that honestly 
I um, love cutting it with my photo trimmer because I get such a nice crisp edge to them and that's kind of what I'm looking for. That's what I need as I leave one in here. So too much with the seahorse. That one's just perfect. And I'll use a paper clip to keep the rest of these together so I can find them. And so this one still has a little hairline white tip that I don't want to it. I do my little hacksaw movement there to get it clipped off. I know it looks aggressive, but it's not. Don't worry. Nobody was harmed. Okay, so I believe I want to stamp something in there and I can use that Avery L. And it's so funny, like this is this is the problem that I'm in right now. And I'm going to say this like it's a problem, but it's not really a problem. It's a wonderful situation to be stuck in. Um, everything I buy from Hip Kit and Scraptastic seems to match. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. See, you understand. So what am I supposed to do? I can't decide that way when they make it absolutely impossible to decide because everything looks amazing together. Yeah, it does. It was like they were meant to be together and it would be horrible if I separated it. Right? You think my husband will buy that line? No. No. He's going to tell me straight out, Monica? No, he wouldn't actually. He's so nice. He would just say, are you happy? <laughs> I am so lucky. Okay. So what else? That's it. I'm trying to be clean, right? Are you reminding me? We're clean here. I need something on this last little. So this bad boy is going down. Yes, he is. Because I like him and he looks nice here. Okay. All right, so now I just need something for this little corner. And then I'm going to walk away. Why? Because it's neat and it's tidy and it looks, it looks pretty good. It looks as good as I want it to look. So I have to really be careful with my corner of my... Yeah, I love the Heidi Swap one. It's so cute. Where do I want to put this? Here? 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 Yeah, that's where I want to put it. Okay, so what are we going to put in this corner? Do we want another flare badge? Do we want another circle? Is there anything in my die cut? I need enamel dots, like obviously. Now,
gut instinct, right? We've talked about this many times before. There are flashing lights and dinging bells in my head and those are telling me that this is what I want here and this is what I like. And as soon as I put it down, I was happy with it. So stop looking for other things. Yes, sincere advice. I sincerely say that because now I'm done and I'm so happy and I didn't use any other stamps or anything else and this is as clean as it gets for me and you all know me so well so yeah it's a miracle there's not 500 things on this piece of paper so but I mean I have to put enamel dots right <laughs> um, yes sincere advice I get stuck with this too all the time, so I don't mean this at all in a sad way, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. There are times that you do sincerely just have to put it down and walk away and not think about it anymore because it doesn't need that much time. It doesn't. It doesn't require, you know, all the thinking in the world. It's not. It's supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed to be fun and yeah that's it it's just supposed to be fun that's the bottom line to what I want to say as I say it with a very gentle voice I stick down that and I love it so cute that's so cute okay all right wow isn't that great didn't I do so great except for this big splotch of I don't know what that is why why? Why? Again, only I and every other crafter in the world who comes to my house will look at that and see. Not happening, right? We know that. Okay. So yes, back to what I was saying. Yes, I do jump around. I'm sorry. But I mean it and I'm going to say it again. Glue it down find that one little thing that you were looking for and if it does feel good to you it's great don't overthink it and put it down and for me this is as clean as it gets and even still I've added so many little details to it and I love it let the paper speak I say that quite a bit right so don't be scared to allow your paper to say and do what it is there for, right? Whether or not you're doing a sequence shot, whether you're doing, you know, a birthday and you want to circle out that number or, you know, leave out that, then that's what the paper is trying to help you with. The paper is trying to help you create your layouts a little bit faster. And so printing out your photos in this kind of sequence lets you scrapbook more photos of the same event. You know, sometimes we do take two or three or four and here I was just playing in the water with my kids and they were splashing around and so that's the sequence I got one for my son and one for my daughter and yes you always have a scrapbookers mentality even when you are on vacation or when you're out sightseeing or anywhere you always have that kind of oh this would do or this would make become an amazing layout so think like that plan ahead and enjoy embrace your hobby that you have and always think like you're in that mode right and do a little bit less <laughs> you know just simply put down your your pictures and don't worry about so much layering and allow everything else to do what it needs to do and so yeah I think it turned out okay right don't look at that corner it's dirty <laughs> but I think it looks cute I think the whole process of what I wanted to show is there and so I'm glad this was a quick one the one before this one was a little bit more you know, messy and worked through and, you know, not messy. It was just Monica filled. Yay. But yeah, my next one for sure. I have to, I'm going to, I'm going to use these. It's so cool. eh? So awesome. All right. My battery light is flashing. It's telling me no more, no more for today. We're done. If I do anything, it'll have to be off camera and then I'll have to share with you later. But thank you so much, guys, for everything. Be inspired. Be inspired by the paper. Be inspired by the photos you take. Be inspired by the videos that you take so much care and time to watch. And go and do what you see and have so much fun. Thanks, guys.